Hey, how are you? Well, I had a really busy week this week. Uh, I moved our gallery. My wife and I have had a gallery in Red Bank for about 15 years now. And we finally moved out of the space. And we're moving into a new space, but that's going to take a little while because there's a few issues with the new space. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to set up a flat file. We, we always had a flat file in the center of the gallery. And if you don't know what a flat file is, it's a place to store works on paper, photographs. We would also put uh, frame samples in there, uh, things like that. It's just a nice little storage area. And we also used it as uh, a place where we could people could sit in the gallery. You could sit on top of the table. Uh, it was almost like a, a bench, too. It served also as a bench. Now, just a little bit about, often people ask what I do. And so my wife had the gallery. It's really her baby, and, and she has a handful of artists that she works with. And then I would make, uh, like I said, the frames and things like that. But I would also make a lot of custom work. So designers and architects and clients would uh, want something specific, and I would just always say yes, whatever it was. And eventually I'd figure it out. And a good example of that is I had a client see a painting of mine in New York City, uh, an apartment in Beekman Place. It's a painting of flowers. Uh, dogwood flowers and they thought it looked like birds which it kind of does look like birds and so they asked me if I'd paint a picture of seagulls for them and uh, in my mind I thought well, I you know I don't really want to paint seagulls but I just said yes and uh, slept on and overnight I came up with an idea and uh, I ended up making a painting for them and they like it and I like it too and it worked out well so that's kind of our kind of a good piece of advice is uh, whenever anybody asks you if you can do something, just say yes, because usually the idea will come to you. So anyway, long story short, uh, until we get into the new space, I'm going to set the flat file. This is the top of the flat file. I'm going to set that up in the studio here, and I'll try to explain how I built it, and then I'll show you how it all goes together. Because if you're a photographer or an artist or a uh, uh, an architect, anybody who needs, even maps, it's a good way to store maps in a flat file, I might find this interesting because you can integrate it into the furniture of your home and have kind of a nice table and also good storage. First let's take a quick look at the parts. There's a back, a top, this is a face frame I would call it and this will be attached last. And then there's the two sides and while we've got the two sides right next to each other, it, I wanted to point out the difference in color. This is the side that was facing the window and this is the side that was facing the back wall and you can see that the side that was facing the window is much lighter and that's just something that happens with wood I really don't know what you can do about that now I've built the sides and the back the same so we'll just take a look at one of the sides I started with half inch Baltic birch plywood and used that as a foundation to build off of next I used the table saw to make molding out of sapelia wood I've got a slight chamfer on the molding and a quarter inch rabbit. The quarter inch rabbit is there to accept a piece of quarter inch mahogany plywood that will fit over the half inch birch plywood. The sapeling molding is attached to the half inch plywood with screws from behind. The legs are made of cherry and they're aligned but they're not glued using biscuits. This way I was able to assemble and disassemble the cabinet using pocket hole screws. When I built the sides, I first positioned and attached the quarter inch mahogany plywood. I attached the plywood with a little glue and 18 gauge brads. And then I picture framed the side with the Sapili molding. The brad holes or the nail holes in the quarter inch plywood is covered by the rabbit in the Sapili molding. There's an inch and three quarter kick plate underneath the picture frame side. And this was also covered with quarter inch mahogany plywood. The cabinet was stationary when it was in the gallery. But I'm going to want to be able to move this around the studio, so I'll attach a slide glide to the bottom of each leg. To assemble the cabinet, I laid the back of the cabinet down on a piece of cardboard to protect the finish, and now I'll use the biscuits to align the side. Next, I'll secure the side with two pocket screws. I 
wanted to point out that I've got a cleat running along the inside of the cabinet and that's to hold the bottom of the cabinet. And the next step is to drop the bottom of the cabinet in place. It's three quarter inch birch plywood and when I screw the bottom to the cleat that will tie the sides and the back together giving the cabinet its strength. I've secured the metal filing cabinet to the wooden cabinet and the next step is to attach the top. I'll attach the top to the metal cabinet and I've just drilled a round hole in the center and then slotted holes on the edges so the top can expand and contract. I also wanted to point out it's always a good idea to label your parts and that way when you go to reassemble something you know where the parts go. So you can see I've got a 2 and a 2 and a B and a B. I finished screwing the top down and the next step is to attach the face frame. I'm using inch and 5 eighths drywall screws on the sides. One inch drywall screws to attach the face frame to the top. inch and five-eighths finish screws at the bottom. Alright, well, I didn't originally plan on putting the flat file in the corner like it is, but as I was assembling it, I took a measurement, and it turns out that it fits by just about an inch or two, and it's kind of nicely out of the way, so uh, it prob this is probably where it will stay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Well, I'm back again. I, I just wanted to thank everybody for all the comments and emails that they sent. It's really a highlight of my day is reading those, and I try to answer most of them, uh, although I've, I've been uh, kind of falling behind lately because I've been so busy. But I wanted to answer a question from James Smith uh, that he left last week about the object on the railing. Well, it's a bottle opener, and since it's almost 6 o'clock on Friday and I won't be using any more tools today, I think it's time to have a beer. So. Uh, again, thanks. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend.